Today, I wanna to talk a little bit about Matter in Home Assistant. They released a blog post on February the 8th of 2023 that talks about the state of Matter in Home Assistant, what they're doing with it, and a few other things. I also have a TP-Link uh, Capo plug that is Matter compliant, and I'm gonna to attempt to add that to Home Assistant using the instructions that they've talked about in all their documentation and on the blog post. So let's get started with that. So before we get started with the actual matter content, let me take just a second and apologize for a little bit of flicker in the video background and my green screen stuff and whatnot. I'm in the process of redoing the studio and setting things up in a different location and I'm having to use software to remove the background rather than my green screen. So again, apologies for the flicker. All right, let's get into it. All right, so let's talk about the blog post and some of the high points from the blog post. Matter works including thread devices via thread border routers from both Apple and Google. There's no mention of others in this particular blog post, although some of the questions now and maybe in the future will address those uh, questions if you have a different kind of thread border router. The thread border router in Home Assistant is operational, but it's not integrated until the 2023.3 release. I am still on 2022, 2023.2, so even I don't have that yet. But there's a workaround that I'll do uh, that I'll use when I uh, put my Tapo uh, switch in here. The documentation has been expanded for Matter and Thread to include demo videos on how to do some of the stuff that they're talking about here. Uh, if you have a Home Assistant Yellow, which I do, you can en enable the experimental Thread border router. That is something you do by going into the hardware and then configuring the hardware, and then you can enable the uh, experimental radio. Now be careful, you can't, as, as of this video, undo that. So if you have a problem after you've done that, you can't undo that in the Home Assistant Yellow. Uh, also, Matter and Thread in Home Assistant, and I'll talk about that later in this blog post, is experimental. It has just the basic feature set, not a lot of things. So number one, don't expect a lot. And number two, being brand new and experimental means it could cause problems in your production system. So don't do this unless you really, really want to play with it or you have a backup uh, device or something. Just be warned. Okay, uh, if you have a Sky Connect, which I also have on my Home Assistant Blue, you can also enable the thread border router using that, using the same method. I'm not gonna do that on my Blue today because I don't wanna break my production system. I'm gonna experiment on the yellow that has the built-in Zigbee slash Matter Thread Radio. And then now they have this thing called SL Web Tools, and it allows users to, to just um, update firmware and whatnot on the SI Labs chips uh, in your browser, kind of like you do with ESP Home and updating the ESP 32s and that kind of stuff. And finally, they're open sourcing their automated build scripts to create reproducible, f reproducible firmware for Zigbee thread sticks on those SI Labs chips. And so let's talk about what these things are. And I'm gonna go directly to the pages that talk about how to do this stuff in Home Assistant. So let's go to the Matter page. The Matter integration allows you to control Matter devices on your local Wi-Fi or Thread network. Of course, if you haven't heard of Matter, I don't know where you've been, but if you haven't, and of course my apologies, maybe you don't play in the Home Assistant, or maybe you don't play in the Home Automation Arena, so you wouldn't have heard of it. But if you haven't heard of it, this is what it is. It's a new standard for home automation in the process of being up, uh, adopted by the tech industry. It's local, device control is done with no clouds, no external connections. You can use any Matter compatible device with Home Assistant without having to connect to a vendor specific cloud. And when I say any, anything supported. Right now it's such a new technology that not everything is supported. Uh, Matter devices can be used uh, on Wi-Fi, or Thread, Thread is another network, mesh network, um, that is being adopted for uh, the whole Matter ecosystem. Of course, both are supported by Home Assistant. Bluetooth is used for adding new devices to the Matter network. So Bluetooth to start with, and then it can communicate over uh, Wi-Fi or Thread. Now remember, uh, when you're doing this and you're playing with it, Home Assistant only supports control of Matter devices. It's not a bridge and it cannot turn devices within the Home Assistant into Matter compatible devices. In fact, if you already have 
a home assistant set up and you have local control of a device, there is no reason to move it to Matter. I would not even try to do that, at least not until this whole standard becomes more widespread, uh, has had a few years of iterations and updates and bug fixes. You have a working system with local control, leave it as it is. This is new. This is for you to interoperate with or interoperate between devices that are not directly connected to home assistant that use a cloud and then have matter enabled so that you don't have to use that vendor's cloud. So I'm going to say it a bunch of times. Don't break what you already have. Continue to use home assistant to control your locally controllable devices on Z-Wave, Zigbee, etc. Don't move things over to matter unless you're just bored and want to break stuff or have something to play with. And again, even if you want to do that, Get yourself a Raspberry Pi and a SkyConnect and experiment all day long without breaking your production system. Okay, I think I've beat that to death. So let's get on to the next point here. Uh, only a few devices are available that are compatible with the standard and some even require you to join a beta or developer program. Uh, we're hoping to see more devices hit the market later in 2023. And then after that, of course, as matter actually becomes more popular, assuming it does, and I think there's a lot of momentum behind it to make it happen, then you'll start seeing all kinds of devices on it. I mean, TP-Link's getting on the bandwagon now where you have this little this little plug here, this switch. Um, and this is what I said a minute ago. These implementations are very, very early, pre-alpha potentially stage. Only basic things work and breaking changes will and can happen. Using it in production is not recommended until it matures a bit more. So don't, again, don't build your whole production system off matter compatible devices because things aren't there yet. Uh, and then they talk about multi-fabric where you can join multiple devices or the same device to multiple controllers. So you can add it to Google Home, Apple Home, and Home Assistant at the same time. You can choose your preferred network and have everything control your device is that, but they'll talk through the different hubs to get to the device. So for example, if you have a device that's on Google Home, you can talk to it via Home Assistant through its hub uh, by using Home Assistant as your preferred network and all that stuff. So um, for devices where Home Assistant provides a native integration, this is what we're saying. Meta may not be the best option. Don't use it. I think I've talked about that enough. And then finally, Meta protocol relies on IPv6 and MDNS. You should not, if you VLAN off that stuff in your network, this isn't going to work. You need to make sure that your Matter devices, whatever you're using here, can talk to your Home Assistant hub, your Matter hub on Home Assistant through IPv6 across your local network. So keep that in mind if you're having problems and you have VLANs that block MDNS or IPv6, or you've disabled IPv6 in your router, make sure that you check that um, first before going other, trying to figure out what other solutions might be the problem. And then there's all kinds of ways to add a matter to Home Assistant. Um, and let's talk about a little bit the current state of the integration. Support for matter is evolving. They will regularly update matter integration with new features or device support. Um, they keep a current list here to try to update the information as often as possible. I don't see the list here. I don't know if there's meaning here or on this page we're on right now, but there are some devices listed on here. Platform supported Home Assistant is currently limited to switches, lights, and binary sensors. The light platform is limited to on, off, and brightness. No color or color temperatures are currently supported. Again, this is very early stages, so features are gonna be missing. If you have a light that you control already through Home Assistant that has all of the features you want, don't move it to matter. There's no point in doing that right now because you would break your capabilities on that device. Um, there are some known issues already. Support for bridges, such as the Hue bridge, is not working. Do not try to add a bridge right now as it will break the integration. And then door window sensors are reversed. So they show up as closed instead of open. So uh, keep in mind those things. And those will be fi fixed in 2023.3 of Home Assistant. Each matter network is called a fabric and each home automation controller that controls your devices has its own fabric. So you can add devices directly to the fabric of your Home Assistant instance or share them from another uh, fabric, which is what I just talked about a minute ago. You can share things from Google's fabric uh, over to your Home Assistant fabric. Um, and then there's options for doing all of that below. One of the things I'm going to do today is going to be add a device using the companion app. And I'll show you that here in a minute. 
because I'm not on 2022, uh, 2023.3 of Home Assistant, I actually don't have the options here. And if you look at it here, it says open the Home Assistant app on your phone, uh, go to settings, devices, and services. Let me just do that now. Well, since I said, let's go to the companion app just a moment ago, lots of things have happened. One of which is all of my video that I recorded the first time around is not on my computer. So I don't know what happened there other than I probably hit pause instead of record and messed it all up. So you get a rare glimpse into one of the many uh, challenges with making videos. Something doesn't go right. Things just kind of get messed up. With that being said, I did learn some things uh, from the previous shoot of this video. And so I'm gonna talk about those for just a moment. Um, let's go into uh, the actual phone and I will show you here what is going to happen. So on the phone, if we go into settings and we try to add the TAPO based on the configuration that we saw in Home Assistant or the instructions, let me find those here for you. Here's the Android companion app. So we're gonna to go to add device under settings and devices. Um, we should see at the very top of this list here, we should see the add device uh, or add matter device, the top of the list. I don't have that. So there's a problem with that, first of all. So if I come down here and I start looking at the troubleshooting section of this page, I do not see the option. Well, that's because and that's not available until 2023.3 of Home Assistant. So we're going to go back and we're going to follow this settings, devices and services integrations, which is the integrations page here. We're going to go down to matter, which is right here in the middle. And we're going to click on configure. And now you see a thing says commission button. So if I commission device with mobile app, you'll notice down at the bottom of the screen here, Matter is currently unavailable. By the way, if you uh, don't see the commission using companion app, you need to make sure that you're, at least on Android, version 8.1 of the OS, I'm on 13, the most recent version of the Google Home app and the full companion app, all of those things I've verified already. If you go down here now and you um, see this matter is currently unavailable, then what that means, is that um, there should be an entry under matter devices for setting school devices and sharing, and that's not there either. So what I did was I started talking to um, some of the fine people there in the um, Home Assistant Matter channel on their Home Assistant Discord server, and it's come up that this has been a, a problem with other people, not just myself. And what they're saying there is that you need something like the Home Assistant Hub V2 in your network, at least initially, in order for Google to realize that you have a matter capable system. And so once you do that, then you can take the hub out and then you have this option. They are testing this as a theory right now. It is a working theory as of the filming of this video. So that means that um, they don't know for sure if that's what's going on but it is being looked at. It is a known issue set or currently with all of this setup. So what that means is I can't actually provision the TAPO plug. Uh, I was hoping to kind of play with this little plug, um, but I can't do that today because I don't have a, a hub V2 in my network somewhere. So I'm gonna have to borrow one, plug it in, let com the companion app see it, and then I can give it back or whatever, or wait for Home Assistant and others to figure out what's going on with this. I don't know if that's the same thing for the iOS because in the iOS app, uh, you don't have to have a Google app in order for it to work. So I'm, I'm assuming it's probably pretty much standalone. So it's just the Android that's seeing this issue right now. With that being said, um, this is one of those videos where stuff didn't go right and you could you know fault me for putting in the video up. But I think every once in a while, it's nice to see that those of us that create these things, we don't create them in a vacuum. We have the same problems a lot of people do, and things just happen. In this case, matter is very, very, very new, and I'm going to point that out one more time. 
and we come up here and just kind of show you this as a reminder uh, that the matter standard itself, so just matter in general, and the implementation that Home Assistant is putting together are in very, very early stages. Only basic things are working, breaking changes can occur, and bugs do happen in the case of what I just showed you right now. Stuff isn't working because I don't have, <laughs> I don't have a hub from Google in, in my network to prove that I have matter in my setup here. So with that, um, this is still an, uh, hopefully an interesting video for you. It, it, every time we do a video on matter or thread or all of that stuff, I think it hopefully makes it a little bit clearer um, for those that wonder what matter is and what we're talking about and how do we use it in Home Assistant. It does work. Um, I've seen demonstrations and you'll, you can see on the page and I'll link this matter page in, in the description. There are um, folks that are actually adding this to their iOS stuff and people that do have Google hubs can do it as well, right? The, it's still there. It still works. And this Tapo plug that I keep talking about is actually is a plug that does work natively if you have the right kind of uh, setup in your network, i.e. the hub two, and you don't, and you have an Android phone that has all the latest stuff on it. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Let me know on discord, have a great rest of your week, your day, your night, wherever you are. And I thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video.